Hello. I am in the forest and I'm back home in Norway after three weeks in Sweden. Um, today I thought I would actually do that hike that I talked about before I went to Sweden um, on that new small track that I found. Um, I'm just going, I thought I'd just climb up here first just to show you the view of this little pond here. It's lovely. There are so many blueberries now. So there is about I'll show you here. Can you see that? <laughs> it's actually about uh, two hours to hike up here, but I've I'm probably I have spent about two and a half, three hours now because I've been constantly stopping and eating blueberries. They're so good. Can't even begin to explain. <laughs> yeah, so here is that little lake or pond that I have actually been filming before, but um, now I'm filming it from the other side. It's pretty nice. So you might notice something today, something different. I am alone. <laughs> oh, cloudberries. Wow. <laughs> I always get distracted when I see cloudberries. Because they're so good. I'm going to eat that one. Yeah, I'm alone because today is so very warm. It's too warm for all. It's 28 degrees. And um, yeah, mm. picking some cloudberries here. That is too warm for all. So I have to be walking alone today. Okay, it's a different kind of walk. I don't get as much help when it's uphill, but I don't have to work so hard downhill either. So it's okay. I miss him, of course. Good to have a friend when you hike. I'm also doing something diff a bit different today because I'm walking in sandals, <laughs> something that I really don't recommend. Um, it's very windy here. Maybe I have to edit this away. Um, yeah, I don't recommend it because you have no support for your ankles and. You have no... I was thinking of crossing over here, but that's not going to happen, no. It's muddy, muddy, muddy. Yeah, you have no protection for your toes, so you get scratched and mangled. But there's also something very nice about it, when, like with where I am now. I'm walking in the moss and sinking down and cooling my toes and yeah feels good <laughs> so that's all right oh i can see the tracks of a moose i'm walking on the tracks of a moose i'm not going to film that because you wouldn't see it pro proper properly on the footage that i get from the GoPro. 
Yeah, so I also done another thing today to try to cool down. Oh, look, there's a bird. A bird. Hi, bird. Oh, I'm not disturbing you. I hope they have um, finished their child upbringing. <laughs> I hope I'm not walking into a nest now because I have to follow the edge here. Lots of moose tracks. Yeah, so you know, um, when you film with a GoPro, you don't get that kind of. Um, you can't zoom in. And so I also done another thing to cool down today. <laughs> when I came up to our lake, the lake that's closest to us, I just actually jumped into the lake <laughs> and swam a couple of rounds because or you know in a circle not around the whole lake just in a circle because then all my clothes were wet and then I can hike for a long time and be cooled down by the wet clothes and I'll try here so that's a good <laughs> Ever hiking in very, very um, warm surroundings. So I think I found the path, the small, almost invisible one. Um, it's always difficult <laughs> when you walk in the other direction, actually. Definitely the footpath. I can see it clearly now. Here is the little brook, but as you can see, I'll just point the camera. No, I'm wrong. Always wrong. As you can see, there it's absolutely dry now. It's been very, very, very warm and dry this summer, which is fantastic of course i mean wow we are not really spoiled here with warm and dry weather usually it's lovely look at all these blueberries they are so good I think I must not go too close because the camera won't pick it up then. <laughs> I have already eaten so many, which is good because I didn't really plan very well today, so I haven't brought any food. I had an apple. <laughs> An apple a day keeps the doctor away. It's a really lovely area. I know where I am. Just so that you... Just so that you know. There's a small pond down there and there's another one over there. Uh, but it wasn't as exciting as I'd hoped because I thought it was going to take me somewhere totally unknown hey can you see this lots of blueberries Actually, 
even if I have another battery, my gimbal has uh, stopped working because I have forgotten to charge it. So that's a sign, I suppose, that uh, this is the end of the video. And I'm going to go out on these marshes here and find more cloudberries because there were quite a few over on the other side. So thank you for watching and I see you next time I hope. Um, bye bye!